I'm Corbett Wall with DV Auction here with your feeder flash for Thursday December the 13th can we get $120 at last for cash fat cattle it's looking like we got a good chance to get that this week uh, we weren't expecting this big charge in the board of course the board's been uh, non-supportive through all this positive fundamental news we've had for the last few months and just continued to, to to drift lower and lower and then all of a sudden out of nowhere really when we least expected it and a lot of times that's when it happens uh, we've got some support and uh, we can try to think that maybe it had something to do with fundamental news but uh, really doubt it uh, you know when the fundamental news happened we sure didn't see anything positive out of it and probably just all technical and, and like I said uh, has more to do with other uh, ag commodities that are being traded than it does the one that uh, is titled up at the top but uh, let's look at that board for Wednesday December live cattle futures up 75 cents 119.12 these are some of the highest quotes we've seen for over a month on our live cattle contracts February up 75 cents at 122.90 now those that are farther out front had gains that were more moderate but uh, still on the positive side but January feeder cattle up 27 cents at 147.57 March up 37 at 145.27 your fat cattle trade through Tuesday only 2500 and and uh, I'm not going to go as far as to say that these guys in the Northern Plains have learned their lesson but the last couple of weeks anyway they haven't sold too many cattle and they sure haven't let the market drift back any we've seen just a few sell in the northern plains like i said about 2500 and uh, they're either getting fully steady money or more and uh, and so that doesn't hurt the traction for guys but 117 and 187 is pretty much what's traded so far this week uh on wednesday nothing to speak of hardly at all did have one pin on the fed cattle exchange in kansas at 119 that's fully steady with the southern plains so and not much more to speak of at all anywhere else so these guys are kind of getting lined up and and most everybody thought we were already done leading up into the holidays including me but uh, i think maybe we do have a chance to gain one more buck and hit that 120 before we close out the calendar year and uh, and get the next quarter of 2019 started off on the right track but even if we do hit 120 chances are likely if we want to sell any more cattle before the end of the year probably going to have to to drift back a little bit because of the extremely light kills during the abbreviated uh, slaughter rates during the holiday but i've actually already seen some 120 out there in spots uh, plenty of guys have told me uh, about cattle that uh, you know the packers were wanting especially regional packers uh, willing to give the fully steady top of the market at 119 and the guys wanted a little more than that on some real premium cattle all black cattle and and uh, and they throw them an extra buck they do it on a, a live negotiated price but that technically throws it into a formula which we don't see reported so but uh, there's been some 120 out there on the right kind of cattle with all the kickers thrown in on the live negotiated price uh, i want to talk a little bit about a, a feed lot that is not significant in size but just telling you a little bit what's going on out there there was a company called valley oak steak company in Lone Jack, Missouri, which is uh, just south and east of Kansas City, kind of a premium quality uh, producer there, and had their own feeding facility, their own slaughter facility, and uh, taking some really premium quality product right to the consumer's plate. And, uh, and really, a lot of people had high hopes about it. It's the kind of thing that we, we really are trying to push. Uh, it's tough for them. There's a lot of competition out there from your major packers, but uh, it was a company that was making some strides. We're bound and determined to make this deal work and, and really going to uh, do something positive for the beef industry there, even in their own small way. But they had applied for an expansion of their feeding facility, which was state-of-the-art, all under roof, self-contained, everything. I mean, the, the best you can get and the, and the finest anywhere. And uh, wanting to expand that to near 7,000 head and uh, they were just uh, you know about a thousand head or whatever it takes to keep them having to do uh, too many permits there but uh, the Missouri Clean Water Commission fought them tooth and nail 
fought them and fought them and fought them, trying to keep them away. Uh, you know, they were they were getting too close to the suburbs of Kansas City. They thought uh, Claire McCaskill, she fought them tooth and nail and did everything she could to get them closed down and, and, uh, and reject that expansion uh, that they were wanting before the uh, rural voters in Missouri retired her, thank goodness, and shouldn't have to worry about her anymore. But uh, they lost their fight to, to have expansion there. So uh, I've heard from some local guys they had to move some cattle out of there to get back within uh, where they're supposed to be as far as the permits that they do have but really hate to see that somebody trying to do the right thing in the right way to uh, further the, the beef industry and, and weren't able to do it you know even in, in a rural type state of Missouri which normally embraces things like that but uh, let's look at your box beef cutout values on Wednesday afternoon choice cuts down sharply 212.25 was a quote down two dollars and twenty one cents uh, your selects were up just a pinch, up 18 cents at 201.57. And you look, we no longer have that holiday demand. Those orders have already been put in and they're being filled right now. So we don't have that demand right now. And just look how that choice select spread has whittled down just uh, less than $11, $10.68. And it was running pretty wide there for the last several weeks. But uh, you know, uh, some guys took, uh, brought it to my attention, and if you think about it and look back, uh, your producers right now are getting uh, near the smallest percentage of the total uh, retail price of the beef as they've gotten in recent memory. You look, uh, so, you know, four or five years ago when we had all-time record prices uh, for fat cattle and, and feeder cattle and all classes of live cattle, even cows and bulls selling near record prices, uh, your stakes uh, in, in the supermarket in the meat cases weren't much higher if any uh, so who's keeping all that money in the middle there I tell you what these Packers are making a ton of money they never have a bad day and and uh, and like I said your producers are getting the smallest percentage of that retail price than, they, than we've probably ever seen Look at your slaughter so far for this week, 361,000. That's down just 1,000 from last week and up 7,000 from the same week a year ago. Look at some of your uh, feeder cattle markets. Talk about one feeder cattle market that had a big day. Northeast Georgia Livestock Auction in Athens, Georgia. DV Auction customer. You can, uh, you can view their sale on dvauction.com every week, uh, except if they're having a, a world champion qualifier contest and then uh, they the cut your audio off somehow but anyway we like the folks at Northeast Georgia Livestock we support them and uh, and they're doing things the right way one of the biggest markets in that part of the southeast there and congratulate the top 10 uh, that, that were made the last qualifier to get into the big contest in California this summer I uh, want to give a big uh, attaboy to uh, reserve champion, my friend Jay Romine from Mount Washington, Kentucky. He's the lead auctioneer for the Bluegrass Stockyards there in Lexington. And the champion for this qualifying event was Daniel Mitchell from Cumberland, Ohio. Congratulations to those guys and, uh, and we support the auctioneer contest that LMA puts on and, and it really promotes the auction way of, of selling cattle and we're all about that here at DV Auction and the Feeder Flash. But uh, let's look at your feeder markets on Wednesday. Your real-time index finally come up uh, significantly. Had some good sales. I told you on the last visit that the, thing, the worms kind of turned a little bit and uh, your feeder calves sell a lot better and probably your lighter receipts having as much to do that uh, with that than anything. And uh, also your improved weather conditions. and. And every day that goes by that we don't have another snowstorm or another big rain up in the uh, Midwest, that's a little bit drier than it gets and a little bit easier uh, for life around those uh, Midwestern feedlots in the Northern feedlot area. But a uh, real-time index, uh, late on Wednesday, 142.82, up $1.80 compared to Tuesday's close. That's a significant gain. And due uh, largely to some of these big feeder auctions like OKC West and El Reno, Oklahoma, uh, good run of cattle there, but not nearly as heavy as the previous week, which uh, really hurt them even though they had a lot of those uh, program cattle last week. But this week, back to a regular sale and uh, had good demand, uh, and the demand met the supply 
much more evenly and in fact uh, your supply probably could have been a bit bigger because we saw quite a bit higher prices feeder steers five to six dollars higher some of those weighing over 850 guys still hoping to to feed for that april market uh, for the hedge up eight dollars there uh, feeder heifers three to four dollars higher uh, you remember on tuesday your wean calves were two to four dollars higher but look at a big quote come through on cattle market central out of el reno 208 head of 745 pound steers bring 148 and a quarter and uh, pick that up automated uh, right from the block on cattle market central but look at uh, other ways that we get information out of there i get it uh, sent to me and and i appreciate every drop of information i get and and uh, don't be afraid to send me some information if you think it's something that we might want to use here but uh, we'll take it in any manner we can get dodge city kansas winter livestock 3200 head there uh, plus and you look at uh, the CMC uh, Cattle Market Central automated market report there. Uh, I looked at the federal state market report uh, and it looked like uh, the trend was going every which way on every class of cattle. But you look at the automated report here and it looks like your best tested weights were mostly steady to three dollars higher and then that a uh, whole lot easier to understand there but look at your your biggest quote on steers 485 head of six weight steer steers average 642 at 146.29 that was up about two dollars on the weighted average compared to last week on your heifers 419 head of five weight heifers average 552 at 142.82 and that was out up about a dollar seventy on the weighted average compared to the previous week so good sale there in dodge city uh bassett another barn burner up there and, and i talked to the ownership there last week and and uh and he says you know as, as good as things are up here you know the market was lower last week and we had some people that were kind of disappointed you know maybe they're spoiled up there but you know they they're getting used to that that premium market up there and they want all they can get and 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 sometimes the market's just lower you know sometimes golds and diamonds are too high too but it has to come back a little bit but uh they did uh, uh recover some of the losses they had last week even though they were selling at a premium to every other place in the world but five thousand head plus there and it was mostly all higher uh just depending on they had some replacement quality heifers there that were kind of boosting things there and, and the competition from that making some of your heifer weights higher but uh just a good market all around there but uh, you look at steers and heifers uh, in, in the ring there of drafts of 90 head or more come through on Cattle Market Central. Look at all of them. You talk about long strings of cattle. Now these cattle mostly all be weaned and uh, you know have a good health program on them and uh, just quality outstanding. Best quality in the world right there in the Sand Hills in Nebraska. But you look at this big quote out of uh, Bassett, Nebraska on Wednesday, 275 head, top quality steers from the bow and arrow ranch there. They, they average 590 pounds, bring 175.50, nearly weighing six guys. And that is a huge, huge quote there on a huge long string of cattle there. And you wonder why they don't sell those big long strings in the country, because they bring more in the auctions. But uh, another individual quote out of Nebraska on some big cattle, I'll be on Nebraska there, 99 head of big yearling steers weighed 935 at 152.75. And that's your feeder flash for Thursday.